I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will check whether the given function is even or odd or neither. We are given two different functions f of x is equal to 1 over x cube plus x to the power of 5 and g of x equals to x square plus sin x. You can pause the video and answer the question. Here is my suggestion. When you look at the function, look at each component of the function. In this function, degree is odd. Inside we have x cube which is odd, x is also odd. So we have combination of odd functions. So we expect that to be odd function. g of x on the other hand is a combination of x square which is even, sin x which is odd. So that should be neither, right? So now let us continue and see and algebraically verify whether they are even or odd. So to verify that we have to check what is f of minus x equals to. So we'll substitute x with minus x. So what we get here is 1 over, we can write this as minus x whole cube plus minus x to the power of 5. Now that is equals to, within bracket, we know that minus when q will give us minus. So we get minus x cube here and on the other hand we get minus x, everything to the power of 5. Now minus could be taken common and then we could write this as minus 1 and we could write the denominator as x cube plus x to the power of 5. Now negative 1 to the power of 5 will give us negative 1, correct? So we get negative outside and we get 1 over x cube plus x to the power of 5. Now this is indeed negative of the given function. So we write this as equal to, let me write it here, minus f of x. Since f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x, the given function is odd. Right? So that is how we show whether the function is even or odd. Now we'll follow the same strategy and do the function g of x now. So we're trying to find what is g of minus x. Replacing x with minus x, we get minus x whole square plus sine of minus x. Now minus x whole square is x square, whereas sine of minus x is minus sine x. You can clearly see, if I take minus outside, I get minus x square plus sin x. Now this is neither equals to g of x nor is it equals to minus of g of x and therefore we say this function is neither. However, if I replace sin x with cosine x, let us say we have a function h of x equals to x square plus cosine x then this function will be even, correct? Since both the components here or terms here are even in nature. When you add two even terms, then you get even function. That is how we can actually solve any question on even and odd function. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.